Welcome to the Division of Research Safety at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The purpose of this video is to provide instructions for submitting a hazardous waste pickup request through DRS. Waste pickup requests are submitted through the DRS website, which is found at drs.illinois.edu. Click on the Waste link in the menu bar on the top of the page. There are several guides and sets of instructions regarding waste contained in this drop-down menu. Refer to these links first with any questions you may have. On the left-hand side of this menu, select Request a Waste Pickup. On this page, there are several additional resources for classifying and collecting waste available as PDFs for your reference. To access our waste software, select the link to access the Waste Management app. This will open a new page. When you arrive at the main page of the software, click the Illinois Sign-On button on the left-hand side of the screen. After you have successfully logged in, you will see the Waste Disposal Services screen. On this page, select New Pickup Request. When a new pickup request is generated, a new screen will open. Begin by completing the information at the top of the page. You can click the magnifying glasses next to the text boxes to open a search bar. You can adjust the search terms using the drop-down menu on the bottom of the search page. We recommend changing the default Begins With to Contains to make searching a bit easier. Using the text boxes on the form, please include your phone number, department, the building and room number where the waste is located, and in what setting this waste was generated. It is important to double check that this information is correct before continuing, otherwise the labels generated for the pickup request will be incorrect. It is especially important that the room number is accurate. Once you have completed this information, click the Save button on the gray menu bar on the top of the page. Now, start adding your waste items to the list. Select Add in the bottom left corner of the item table. The Pickup Request item window will then open. Click the magnifying glass next to the Waste Name box and search for the identity of your compound. In the Search options, you can further specify your search terms. You may search by the chemical name, UI number, or the Chemical Abstract Services number. Note that if you use the CAS number, you must remove any dashes. Again, we recommend searching with contains rather than begins with. Now, search for your compound. Note that for some compounds, several options may be available. Pick the UI number that matches the waste you are submitting. To add this compound to the item list, select the arrow on the right side of the window. You will then be returned to the Pickup Request Item screen. Complete the rest of the information on this page. If you have several containers of the same size with the same compound or mixture, indicate this here. Be sure to include the phase, total volume, and color of the waste, as well as approximately how full the container in question is. Check the boxes on the form if you are submitting an unused, unopened container of excess product, or if this waste contains any radioactive material. For new mixtures, and for radioactive and biological waste streams, provide a detailed description of the waste in the Waste Description box. Links to SDS information, especially for uncommon chemicals, can be extremely helpful to include here. For additional requirements pertaining to radioactive and biological waste, refer to the Waste menu on our website. When you have completed this page, select Save. This item should now appear in the Items table on the Pickup Request page. If you have additional items to add, select Add and repeat the process for as many compounds or mixtures as you have to submit. To submit the request, double check that all of the information is accurate. Then, select Edit in the gray menu bar at the top of the screen. In the Request Status box, change the selection from In Progress to Completed. Then, select the Save button in the gray menu bar on the top of the screen. At this point, the pickup request has been sent to DRS. Our staff will process the request and will send you an email with further instructions for your waste pickup. This will include labels which identify your waste containers for the pickup. Please print and secure your labels to the waste containers if you have the space to do so. Use clear tape and do not cover the barcode. If you cannot find your compound after searching, or if you have a mixture of components not yet in our database, select UI number 1 for New Chemical in the search box. If you are submitting a new chemical or mixture, you must include additional information in the Notes box. Include the chemical name or CAS number if the compound is known. If it is not known, provide a name or link to a chemical structure. 
Safety data sheets are also extremely helpful. Finally, provide an estimate of the concentration of each component in the mixture. This includes water. For disposal of sharps containers, search for sharps in the waste name box and select the size of the container you're submitting for a pickup. Sizes of sharps containers are 1 quart, 2 gallons, and 8 gallons. DRS does not bring new sharps containers to you if you submit a sharps pickup request. To request new sharps containers at no cost to you, contact campus stores at 217-244-0139 or at cstores at illinois.edu. This concludes our overview of the waste submission process. If you are unsure about potential hazards of waste, have a particularly challenging case, an unlabeled container, or are not sure what to do with your hazardous waste, please contact the DRS Waste Group at 217-333-2755 or by emailing cws at illinois.edu. Thank you for your time and be safe out there.